Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back now crew. So in this video, I'll be doing a Black History Month set of nails, right? Finally, right? <laughs> I'll also be telling you guys the Double Dip Holly Gel Giveaway winner. Woo, woo! <laughs> I know y'all excited about that. And before we get into all of that, let's give a hey girl, hey to my newest nail sister, Queen K. Hey girl, any of you guys that have recently subscribed, let me know, let me know so I can tell you, hey girl, hey. Also, if you have any video requests, drop them in the comment section below. All right, you guys, let's get started. So I have my Model Ones brush. Now I'm kind of letting it focus for you guys, but it is the size 12. Oh my gosh, you guys. The glitter in the brush was just not letting me be great today. Otherwise, glitter. But when it does stuff like that, ugh, it just gets on my nerves. But anyway, you guys, this brush is super cute. has glitter in the handle, and it's moving, and it's fluid, and it's just really, really sparkly and gorgeous. It works fine. I know, you guys, there are mixed reviews. I hear some people who really, really love the brush, and I hear people who don't. So... I mean, I don't know. It could be that you got it from the vendor versus Amazon versus AliExpress, perhaps. I don't know. But for me, it's working fine. So you guys can watch me use it here. And it's not a new brush. It's an older brush. So you guys have seen this before. I just like to pull it out every now and then to let you guys know it's still alive, honey. It's still alive. All right. So I am <laughs> laying my not polished acrylic. This color is gorgeous. It is color first nude. I think they have like a first nude, a second nude, maybe even like a fourth nude, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> the name choice is so basic, but also, yo, that's kind of clever, you know? So, <laughs> so I'm going to lay my small beads. You guys know I am the queen of small beads. Forget that three ball method. Forget it. It just doesn't work out for me, especially when I'm doing longer nails. Oh, forget it. I feel like the three ball method was made for like short nails. When you're doing long nails, forget it. Don't even try it. Forget about it. You're going to just be sad. So anyway, you guys, I think I'm going to end up with like five or six beads, whatever. I think this color is so gorgeous. I like nude colors that look good on like a variety of different skin tones. I like a nude that's versatile. So this is first nude, like I said. And look how pretty it looks against the brown, you know, the nail tip. It's brown. And the first nude looks really good against that color. But then look at the fleshy part, the like silicone skin, I guess you want to call it. It's a lighter color with like a hint of yellow or a yellow undertone and the nude color still doesn't look bad against that skin tone either so whatever color you are you can get first nude get first nude i wonder if not polish will hire me to make their jingles get first nude now crew let's be serious y'all always have me up here talking about things making up songs and jingles and things like that y'all always have me up here doing this that's not what we're here for today, okay? This is a serious moment, you guys, okay? So I am a black woman in Black History Month. I'm going to do a set of nails, and I'm going to draw, well, yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess we could call it drawing. So I'm going to draw on a black woman, and you guys can watch me, you know, paint her. <laughs> Good luck with that, right? And we're going to talk about other black women in history. So, yes, you guys. And then somewhere in the video, I will tell you guys the winner for the double dip poly gel. Now, listen, it's not going to be at the end, okay? It's not going to be at the end. So if you thought you was going to come here and fast forward to the end and hear your name and collect your prize, ma'am, no, okay? No, ma'am. So... Mm -mm. We are going to start our Black Women Black History. What are we going to call this? It's not like trivia because I'm not quizzing you, but like fun facts. Yeah, fun facts. Okay. So the first Black woman we are going to talk about is Nakia Porter. That's me. No, I'm just kidding. The first lady we are going to talk about is Dr. Shirley Jackson. Dr. Shirley Jackson. Should I sing all their names? The first one we're going to talk about is Dr. Shirley Jackson. Dr. Jackson is responsible for caller ID and call waiting. And I could just imagine, you know, she must have been getting like a lot of prank calls. 
something had to happen for her to say, you know what, forget that. <laughs> you know, I need to see who's calling before I pick up. Super, super smart. You know, we take it for granted. Thank you, Dr. Shirley Jackson. In addition, she also had a hand in developing touch tone phones. <laughs> we use it every day, okay? Uh, fiber optic cables that make your long distance calls. Again, thank you. Uh, she was the first black woman to earn a doctorate from MIT, the first black female president of a major technological institute, and went on to become the first black woman appointed chair of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So I already laid the acrylic and that was like, man, whatever. But look at how I'm encapsulating you guys. <laughs> you know, every time I get the encapsulation in one bead I just have to take a moment you know and that's thank the little people that you know watched and support me along my journey you know um I used to encapsulate in like five beads but now here I am encapsulating long nails in one bead and you know I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me along my journey because <laughs> look at me now you know so yeah you guys can look at that while I continue on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Our next inventor, all of you guys right now that are living in cold states, you guys love my next inventor. You guys love her, okay? This is Miss Alice H. Parker, and she is responsible for the heater, okay? So let's all say it together. Thank you, Miss Parker. <laughs> so Miss Parker took it upon herself to design a natural gas-fueled new and improved heating furnace. Her design earned a patent December 1919 and helped give birth to the thermostat. We all have a thermostat, okay? Appreciate, appreciate. And the familiar forced air furnace in most homes today. So that was Miss Alice Parker. All right, now before we move on to, <laughs> before we move on, are y'all watching these beads? Are y'all watching how they are floating down the nail today? What is going on here? What's going on? <laughs> So this is what the nails look like. I'm going to file them off camera, okay? And then I want to let you guys know, I stumbled upon Expressions by Van, and she did a painting. <laughs> look at this painting, you guys. She did a painting of a black queen. Like, I was trying to Google, you know, kings, queens for my Black History Month inspiration. And I saw this, and I was just like, oh, my God, this is beautiful. Let me try to put it on a nail. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. So, you can't really see it. You can't see it because it's in pencil, but once I add the colors and everything, it will come together, all right? So you guys know I buff the nail, I draw on the naked nail, there's nothing on the nail, and then I seal it in with matte top coat. And the reason for that is when I add my paint, I know that I could erase it and not mess up my drawing because who wants to draw this again? This was not fun, okay? And yes, I drew my little picture off camera because had I recorded it, you guys, we would be here to tomorrow and we don't have time because we have to talk about Miss Marie Brown and I particularly... I love Miss Marie because I have a home security... I have a home security system, much like anyone else much like you guys right so miss marie brown and her husband was responsible for the home security system hello in 1966 they noticed that in their neighborhood they would call the cops and the cops would be like eh, i ain't going over there you going over there i ain't going over there and so the response times in her neighborhoods will be so slow Ugh, right? So, oh, I just want to uh, punch somebody. So, anyway, in 1966, Brown and her husband filed a patent for a household closed circuit television security system. That's what I have. That's what I have. So, if it wasn't for them, I just would not, you know, feel safe. And I just really want to say thank you, Miss Brown and her husband, for being so brilliant. All right, really quick, um, before we move on, I just want to let you guys know 
I'm going to paint a little bit and cure a little bit. Paint a little bit and cure a little bit. I'm going to paint and cure and paint and cure. Paint a little and cure a little. Hey, hey. I'm actually dancing when I do, you guys. All right. So whenever I pull out the small pot of lamp, just assume that I'm doing a flash cure, okay? And then whenever you see me pull out the large lamp, assume that I'm doing a full cure. So just in case I'm rambling on <laughs> and I don't tell you what's happening on the screen, just know that's what's happening, okay? And here, I wanted the crown to be golden, of course, like a shimmery, glittery crown, but it wasn't picking up the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to add this yellow as the base and then go on top of that yellow with the glitter. And I really feel like that'll make the crown look like a nice golden just uh just beautiful queen that i'm trying to draw okay and talking about beautiful brown queens we have to talk about miss sister rosetta tharp i really hope that's how you pronounce her name anyway in the 1930s and 40s she was one of the first people to combine gospel music with melody driven urban blues traditional folk a unique pulsating swing style so today miss tharp's music is considered one of the first definite precursors to rock and roll and let me tell you as a musical genius myself I really respect, love, and thank Miss Rosetta Tharp for her contribution to music. It's kind of making me want to sing for you guys right now, but I'm not going to sing. But I do want to say thank you, Rosetta, for your contribution to music. I, for one, appreciate it. Let's take a pause and talk about the double dip giveaway. The double dip giveaway. The double dip poly gel giveaway. So let's do that. I literally just sang and I told you guys I wasn't going to sing. I am so sorry. I just can't help it. So let's do the giveaway and then we'll jump back into my beautiful painting that is coming together. See, I told you guys when I showed you the drawing, like you couldn't really see it well. But now that she's getting color, she has one lipstick. <laughs> my darling, who do you think you are? Wearing lipstick. So she has one lipstick. I'm about to color her hair bow right now. Oh, you guys, I love these colors, like that yellow, the pink, and the turquoise. Those three colors, that is like one of my, I, I love that color combination. That trio of colors, they just complement each other so well. They really do. So I'm going to flash cure that and then continue coloring on. So, okay, let's do the giveaway and then we'll jump back into the Black History Month. All right, so I typed in the keyword hashtag nails by Nikki. Black History Month. So that is the hashtag that I am looking for. Any other variations that you used, it will not be picked up by the machine. So next giveaway I have, make sure you follow the hashtag that I tell you. That way you have a better chance of winning. Okay, so the contest was closed five days ago. So I'm starting from that five day mark and going back and I'm just going to count to number 19 because that's my favorite number. So, you know, that's that. So the 19th person to use the hashtag is Nails by Angel Princess. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You know what? Now that the winner has been announced, who's still here? Drop this emoji so I know it's real. So I know you're still here even after I call the giveaway because I love you guys so much, okay? I love you. Drop that emoji so I could come by and be like, hey, girl, hey. All right, so I want you to notice while I'm painting the hair, when I'm doing the top, I want it to look slick. I want it to lay flat. I want it to look like, you know, she used some gel or some jam on her hair. Okay, you guys remember jam? <laughs> When I was in high school, I used to kill that in my hair. All right, so, and then I'm using my little cleanup brush just to make it look like she has a part going down the middle of her head, and then I'm flash carrying that. But when we get to the ponytail, I don't want it to look so slick, so I'm going to stipple the brush, like just make little dots almost. And if you can't do it with your brush, you could use like a Q-tip. I think a Q-tip will give you a really nice pattern for this. So, so you could use whatever is going to give you that like pony like that texture. I'm trying to develop texture. I want you guys to notice that I am becoming 
an artiste. <laughs> Catch me in like two years, baby. Why? Who? Okay. <laughs> I love her. She is coming out so gorgeous. Her lipstick is popping. Everything. Her crown is sparkling, baby. She is beautiful already. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so let's move on. Our next black history diva is Miss Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner. Yes, for the four names. Yes. So Miss Kenner patented a lot of designs. A lot. But I want to talk about two in particular because... I just want to say thank you because this is something that a lot of our family members or we ourselves use daily and we have to say thank you to Miss Kenner. So she patented an adjustable tray and pocket attachment for walkers. You guys, this may travel more convenient for people who use walking aids. So you know the little trays that your grandmother probably uses or maybe you if you're older or have a walking disability. So the little tray and the pocket that goes on the walker so that you could bring your puzzle your snack your phone whatever yes and the little pocket that you could throw all your little goodies in hello thank you miss kenner and she also patented the sanitary belt with a moisture proof locking pocket hello hello can you imagine how messy and uncomfortable it was for women to get their cycle before her invention? Hello, can you imagine that? So let's all say it together. Thank you, Miss Kenner. Okay, now before we move on to another beautiful black diva, I want to point out my lashes that I'm giving my queen right now. Hello, do you see these lashes? <laughs> Do you see her brows? Hello, do you see? I am the brow master right now. Her brows look good. And so what I'm going to do right now is I feel like I'm a makeup guru. I feel like you guys are here to, you know, see how to fix some brows. So we're going to add a little concealer under, you know, the brow because that's what I see Jackie Ina do. And so you'd add a little concealer under to make it look nice and straight and then you add a little concealer on the top and boom boom pow darling is looking good huh? let's go ahead and cure her and let's do a full cure this time so i've been doing flash cure flash cure flash cure just to like get me boom boom pop to the next step but every now and then you gotta throw in a full cure so that the gel doesn't wrinkle up because it wants to be completely cured and so now i'm going to add a little bit more definition in the lip and just give her that you know that 90s outline lip gloss look that the girls are starting to wear again <laughs> My girl is looking good, good. Okay, let's move on. Our next beautiful black diva is Miss Valerie Thomas. Miss Valerie Thomas. Let me tell you guys something. Black women are awesome when they say black girl magic. They ain't playing. Because I didn't even know this fact right here that I'm about to drop. But Miss Valerie Thomas, you did that. You did that. Okay. So Miss Valerie Thomas, she is a physicist. She's an inventor and NASA data analyst. What? How do you have time to do all of that in one day? Like we all get the same 24 hours and I am not doing any of like what and in her free time you know when she wasn't busy managing the landsat program which produced millions of images of earth she was inventing the technology which went on to become the premise for more advanced tv screens and the modern 3d technology so hello probably without this diva we wouldn't be on YouTube right now. So, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey, okay. All right, pause really quick, pause really quick. I think I have time for maybe like another one or two inventors. So I want to point out the colors that I'm using for the background. You guys can use any color that you want. But if you're trying to do exactly what I'm doing, let me tell you why. Step into my brain. Step into my brain. So I am doing a pink background behind my beautiful queen. She is so gorgeous. I'm so proud of her right now. I am so proud of her. 
I am using the pink because her lips are pink and this would like tighten with her lips. It'll make the lips pop a little more. I just thought it would be a really cute background, okay? And then on the pinky finger, so you see the color of her bow? I am gonna do the pinky finger the color of the bow. That's going to do the same thing for the bow that I want the pink to do for the lips, you know? Like, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. And then on the pointer finger, I'm going to do that yellow for the same reason with the crown. You get what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Listen, you guys, it is literally like three in the morning right now. When I tell you insomnia is so disrespectful, it is so disrespectful. So yeah, like three o'clock in the morning, couldn't sleep. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this video out. And here I am. So this is my 3 a.m. activity. So if you guys also have insomnia and you're watching this at an ungodly hour, let me know. Let me know I'm not the only like oh, sad one. I'm so sad, you guys. I just want to sleep. All right, moving on, moving on, because I go left and I just, yeah. So our next beautiful diva is Dr. Patricia Bath. I know that most of these inventors have already passed, but I wonder what they would think about me singing their name like that. <laughs> Either they're going to be like, oh, you know, she's cool. Or they're like, ew, she's so disrespectful. <laughs> I wonder, I just wonder. This is how my mind works. I just want to know the weirdest things. So Dr. Patricia Bath invented a device that drastically improved the process for removing cataracts. My grandmother had cataract removal surgery. So without the invention from Dr. Patricia Bath, who knows where the cataract removal surgery process will be right now. You know what I mean? So thank you for that. She definitely contributed to people's vision. I, yeah, I mean, how could we not respect that or be grateful for that? All right, so like I told you guys, I wanted to do the blue aqua color on the pinky and you got the look. I am going to do two coats because I really, really, really want it to be full coverage. But after one coat, one coat, and it looks really full coverage. So if you did not want to do two coats because these bottles are small and you do want to preserve your polish, um, by all means, you could do one coat. But uh -uh, my queen needs full coverage. My queen needs two coats. Shoo, we are giving her two coats today. But if you guys want to do one coat, I do understand. So let's go ahead and cure that in the lamp. We have to pop her in the oven. Pop her in the oven. Pop her in the oven. I let her bake, bake, bake. What? Bake, bake, bake. What's she doing? Bake, bake, bake. You guys thought that we wasn't going to sing that song today. You really thought thought that we were going to skate on by and not sing my jam no okay no ma'am no sir all right i have time for one more so miss madam cj walker i feel like i have to sing her name like regally you know miss madam cj walker like she needs like whoa like you know uh uh that that regalness. I need to pull that voice out. <clears throat> I'll practice next time. So Ms. Madam C.J. Walker was the first African-American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and political and social activist. She was recorded as the first female self-made millionaire in America in the Guinness Book of World Records. So back in her day when she was making millions that probably felt like billions, okay? Yes, Miss Madam CJ Walker, you did that. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed my little black history lesson. And I hope that you enjoyed watching me paint my beautiful black nail princess. And that is that, you guys. I think she came out so beautiful. I love it. I, I love everything about it. Again, I will link the video that inspired me to paint her. I will link that in the description box she doesn't even know that i did this <laughs> i have to find a way to to contact her to say thank you but yeah, if you guys want to go over there and be like hey girl hey she's going to be so freaking confused <laughs> all right you guys i'll see you next time bye